Hey guys, what's up? So, got another broken phone. Uh, yeah, I break at least one phone a year, either me or my kid. And uh, so this is actually an LG uh, Stylo uh, Four. Right now I'm a what's it called the uh, OtterBox on there, but this is actually from Cricut. I think this phone cost me about 200 bucks. I can't remember the exact price of it, but it was about a year ago, and yeah, it cracked. And what's funny is it actually fell and hit a rock uh, on the ground. You know what I mean? Like, so it didn't hit the case, but it just fell on like a, 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 like a gravel piece of dirt. And I guess it hit a rock or something. But, uh, so yeah, I got a screen replacement over here on Amazon. And this time, I actually got the whole digitizer. So in a couple other videos, I had done like repair attempts uh, with just the glass. But that's impossible. You can't separate the glass from the digitizer on these cell phones. So... Um, let's see what's in here. You can see a box. Okay, this is good. All right, so this obviously came from China, and all right, let's see what's in the box. So I want to actually look at this thing, and make sure it's the actual the right piece before I take my phone apart. So I want to compare the two, and we'll make sure. Right. I'm back here with my shrink wrap tool, put links where you can get all this stuff. This actually is an awesome tool, this iFixit Jimmy thing right here. It's fixed mini phones and tablets, that thing. So I gotta remove this back panel first. And yeah, I'm not like a professional repair shop. I just do this because I guess I'm just super cheap. And I'm just heating that. around the edges here because the adhesive goes around the edge. I'm going to use this little thing to pop up a little bit, and then we get my jimmy down inside of it. Right. Got that thing in there. It's kind of a headache, but I'm just going to try to be careful. Kind of break the adhesive around it. I can hear it popping off. There's already other couple repair videos, but in the repair videos I've seen so far, if I break this phone, I have to go buy a new phone. This is my primary phone here. Ah, trying to be careful, you know. Ah, okay. Where did I go? Well, I'm going to try to use that if I can. Alright, let's see. Be careful with this. Alright, okay. Alright, so... I'm going to take this bezel off right here. But before I get too involved with the phone, I want to make sure that connector is the same. Because they actually made a couple different styles of phones. And I want to make sure the uh, ribbon connector is the, the, the same. And I shouldn't have to take the whole phone apart. I just should be able to have to get down here. So, from what I've seen so far online. Uh, okay, let's see. There's little screws right here. Actually, this thing sucks. Not the other one. Yeah, I think it sucks. Better tool. Well, the one that came with the kit sucked. <laughs> and this is like a little husky. I don't know, it's like a. Who made that? Okay. I'll go through, take the screws off, be back. Alright, so I've got all the screws and them. I'm gonna try to get as many as out as I can. So they don't pop up while I'm trying to pop this up. Yeah, like when I watched other people's videos, I was like, man, do I want to do this? It seems like kind of like a pain in the ass. But I think it looks a lot more scary in the videos when you watch them than you're actually when you're actually doing it. So it actually doesn't. Well, I haven't done it yet, but so far it doesn't seem like a big deal. But I mean, I do this all day long for a living, anyways. IT stuff, so I'm kind of used to this stuff. Alright, this should just pop up, there we go, and this should give me access to the motherboard. Um, Alright, so i got to take the ribbon cables off, get the motherboard off. I guess we'll cables here. This kind of stuff, like this, should just pop like that. Because I need to get this motherboard off. Alright, I'm just going to try to find all the ribbon cables and be gentle with it. That's the battery. Yep, oh, phone's ringing. Alright, so just be gentle. This thing actually does pop up. You just gotta be careful with it. 
because it seemed like there were some little things that were holding it down, like little extra little contacts or something. This pops off. Okay, we'll put that over here. And all right, so I need to find this ribbon cable. And this is actually where I want to make sure that I got the right screen. And it should be down here as far as I can see. You know, this ribbon cable in here, i got to figure out. This was the biggest challenge, you know. This, this ribbon cable from what I think I read. So, I just want to make sure that's the same. But I, it looks like it's under here, so I have to pop that stuff off. Right. I don't know. I think this should just pop right off. Alright, so the trick here is I was able to get it down here and it popped it that way. So it does look like the ribbon cable comes back up that way. I'm just going to be really careful to get this stuff off. fell on the ground. Alright, so this is where I need to get to right here, and that's now that I can see the ribbon cable that comes back up and flips around. So, this needs to come back up. It's a little, it's like a little shielding mesh. Okay. Alright, and that's my ribbon cable right there. I'll reuse that. There we go. So now I should just be able to heat up the, uh, the screen and pop this forward. You know, I'm use my heat gun and get around underneath it, you know. Cool thing is, is because I'm not separating the glass from the digitizer. On the cell phones, what I, I, where I've always failed is like getting the glass separated from the digitizer, but because I bought the digitizer with it. Hopefully I can get this to go. Clean the edges up. Alright guys, I have my little heater thing right here. I'm going to keep this running. That way I have it going. Put this suction cup on it. And let's see if I can get my little Jimmy down here. Alright, so that was by far the hardest thing so far. It's getting this thing under there, you know. I'm just going to use it. I figure it's still on the screen. I'm going to keep it here and I just keep on prying it open like that. Hmm. Alright. I right, got that thing off of there and I'm just going to go around and get any extra adhesive off there. But it might or might not affect the seating of this thing. You know, there's you can see little shards of glass, but just keep an eye on this little part right there if you can see it. It's uh, the little speaker hole right there, like a little grill. It doesn't look like there's anything electronic in the camera, but um, all right, I'm gonna get the new screen on. All right, so this digitizer and screen doesn't come with the uh, uh, adhesive already already stuck on it. So here is. Some strips I'm gonna get going here. At least attempt to get them on there around there as much as I can. So doesn't have to be perfect. Oh, sticky. I'm gonna try to get down and there if I can. In that little channel like that right there. Okay, I'm gonna cut the excess off. Just need to get the corners in there, you know. As far as I can tell, I looked at a couple other videos and they aren't really specific. Like on the other phones I bought, I actually already had the sticker stuff on it, so 
All right, I'm going to pull that off and just kind of go around the edges here as much as I can. Yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not factory. All right, all right. So now that I have that adhesive, stuff super sticky. It's like that. All right, let's see if I can get this going. All right, here goes nothing. All right. It's gonna have to buy a new phone right now, man. We never know. I'm trying to get that thing aligned up with that little grill outlet right there. Okay, that thing right there. Okay, it went through. That little, if you can see it. Huh. Because it's going in. Okay. Well, I'll double check on it. Okay. I mean, the glass is already kind of raised. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be raised on the edges. All right. So now I'm going to put this thing back together. That's a ribbon cable. It goes through and attaches to the motherboard. Let's get this thing going. Hopefully I have a similar shot. As far as I can remember, this was like over here. Yeah, it's like in here. I'm assuming this is just an RF shield. Alright, now I can put this little part back on, the USB slash speaker. Alright, so we put the motherboard back on there. This way. Nervous. Alright. Alright, let's just screw this back together. Like that. Okay. Then we'll power it up before I put the back cover on and make sure it works. Alright, so I've got the SIM card in there. Let's see this far as up. Let's see what happens. Ah, that was looking good. And power off. And obviously the touch screen's working. Because I'm able to power it off, so alright. Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna read read the same sticky stuff that I had on originally on there. Alright, so I guess there's enough adhesive already still on there to hopefully go in those contacts hitting there. Like I said, this is going to be in my otter box, so that's definitely... Back in the ladder box. Cool. So I have to get this my stylus. These always need to come out through. There we go. Alright, look at that. Awesome. Start this back in. Cool. Alright guys. Uh, I mean, at a scale of 1 to 10, it was probably about a 5. I mean, it wasn't... I mean, you just gotta be patient, I guess. It wasn't, like, super hard or anything. 
Um, you gotta be careful in some areas, but um, yeah, I'm not a professional cell phone repair place, so I'm just some guy in his garage fixing uh, his phone. So cool. Hopefully this helps somebody. It's not that difficult. Thirty bucks.